This is a springboard into the future of integrated defense. Like a scene out of a sci-fi movie. These good boys, or bots, are Tyndall's newest watchdogs. They're not there to hurt anybody. They are there to be an extra set of eyes and ears for our defenders. Each one of these robo dogs costs about hundred thousand dollars. They'll be patrolling the base looking for potential threats or intruders. And while they don't bite, you don't want to mess with them. If somebody's trying to steal the robot, uh, it will actually flail. And if you get kicked by one of these, uh, uh, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Ghost Robotics CEO Jaron Parikh says the robots have been in development for over 10 years. We had a concept to create kind of a warfighter protection system, so really a replacement for a live dog. And the idea is to keep humans, dogs, and even heavy assets out of harm's way. They're weatherproof, unmanned ground drones with two way communication. They can be operated remotely or on their own and travel about seven miles on one charge. They'll recharge in a wireless doghouse, get up do their job. They can do in-depth terrain analysis and enhance the situational awareness for our defenders. 325th Security Forces Squadron Commander Major Jordan Chris says that's just the start. These robots can again do things that the human brain and the human person can't do, which allows the human being to enhance their response and their capabilities. The robo dogs will be deployed on base in February. Erica Orstad, News Nation.